Hey everyone, in today's app of the day video, I wanna show you the Sleep Cycle app. It's really an app designed to help you wake up more refreshed. The way it works is you basically set your phone next to your bed when you fall asleep on a nightstand. I'll talk to you about the placement of it when we go through how to use the app. But then it uses the microphone from your phone and it basically picks up any sound, snoring, movement that you do throughout the night and it makes you a nice graph to show you which cycle of sleep you're in throughout the night and it will try to wake you up at the best possible moment in the lightest version of your sleep. So if you go to the website, the sleep cycle website, I'll put a link to it in the description below. It will kind of explain to you exactly how it works and it will explain to you sleep cycles as well. So typically on a given night, we have five sleep cycles. Some of them are light, some of them are deep sleep, and then you have your REM cycle where you mainly dream. So between those cycles, if you wake up in the middle of deep sleep, you're not going to feel your best. So the app does its best to analyze those cycles and wake you up at the lightest part of your sleep. So I'll show you exactly how the app works, how to set an alarm, talk about the window where the app wakes you up, a little bit different than a traditional alarm. And then at the end of the video, I'll give it my rating from one to five. Let's jump into the phone, download Sleep Cycle, and I'll show you exactly how to use it. You could get the Sleep Cycle app on the iPhone or on the Android phones. And let me go ahead and open the app for you and show you inside. And the app does have a paid option, a premium option. I'll talk about that from time to time as things come up that require the premium, but I'm basically gonna walk you through the free version here. So I'm gonna press skip here. And the app has four icons on the bottom of the page, sleep, journal, statistics, and your profile. So we'll start with sleep. This is where you set your alarm. And there's three different ways this works. On this page, if you slide over you'll see three different windows. So let's go ahead and start with the first window. This is the one I recommend and the one the app is really built up on, which is basically a 30 minute window by default where the alarm is gonna try to wake you up based on your sleep pattern. So for example, if I set this for 825 and give it access to my microphone, it's going to ask me to place the device just like this next to my bed on the side that I sleep. So if I sleep on the right side of the bed, I want this right on the dresser like that with the microphone facing me. If you don't have a dresser next to your bed, you could put something to basically get this placement for your phone. Press OK here. And it does have an option to snooze. So you could double tap here to snooze if you wanted to snooze the alarm. I'm gonna press okay. And this is the thing that you do right before you go to bed. So that's one of the last things you would do is press the alarm on it and then set this next to your bed and go to sleep. And you see the waveform on the bottom? It's basically using the microphone on your phone to pick up sounds. So it's gonna pick up your movements, your snoring, and use that information to figure out when you're in the best state to be woken up. So I'm gonna press stop right now. I'll slide up. And that's why it says wake up between 7.55 a.m. and 8.25 a.m. It's a 30 minute window. I'll show you in the settings, you could actually change that window to be a little bit smaller too, or longer. The next page, the second page here under the sleep tab, is basically like a traditional alarm clock. So this one wakes you up at the specific time that you set here, so 8.25 or 8.30, whatever you set it here, it will wake you up at that time. So I definitely recommend using the sleep window here because that's when the app is gonna work the best. And then the third one here is, it's just basically gonna analyze your sleep and not wake you up at all. So if you wanted to just analyze your sleep, you could just go ahead and do this and press start on that page. Again, it's gonna ask you to place your phone in the right place and it's gonna analyze movement and sound. Let me press stop again. So that's the sleep page, basically a traditional alarm clock with this benefit of having this window to wake you up at the most optimal time. Let's go to the journal page here. So that's the second tab. And this is what ends up happening when you track your sleep. From the moment you set this next to your bed to the time you wake up, it will show you the entire amount of time you spent in bed. So in this case, eight and a half hours in bed only seven hours and two minutes of that I was asleep. So it took me a little bit of time to fall asleep in this case. So if you scroll down a little bit more, you could see those numbers here. So it says an hour and 15 minutes was the time I spent to actually fall asleep, which is not good. That's something I'll need to improve on. 
when I woke up, the heart rate is also available here. If you click it, it brings you to the other tab on the bottom of the page, but this one does require the premium membership. I believe this is based on the Apple Watch that I'm wearing, so it knows my heart rate. Under the journal page here, you also have the time you went to sleep. If you snored, it will also record that for you. So that will show up over here and you could always click that. Again, it will bring you to these patterns. Let me go back to the journal page. You could also press add sleep notes. And again, it requires the premium option, but you could leave notes for yourself to know what went right and what went wrong here with your sleep. I'll cancel that page. And if I come up a little bit to this graph, take a look at how this works. So it shows you the times you were awake. So right when I went to sleep and when I woke up at the edges of the graph, but in the middle, you could see if I woke up in the middle of the night, which I didn't in this case, or if my sleep cycle changed from deep sleep to regular sleep to awake, all those patterns are over here in each graph. And then right on top, you have the different days. So you could jump in here. If I just slide left or right, I could see my patterns in different days and how much I slept. And one of the most important things you'll see is that quality of sleep graph. You see that? 76% on Wednesday, 76%. If I go this way, 87%, which is really good here. So you could see if your sleep is improving over time with that quality graph. So this page basically gets populated every time you set your sleep on the sleep page. So here you set the alarm, you have it to wake you up in the time that you said, or any of these options will still analyze your sleep. And under the journal tab will give you that sleep pattern. Statistics we looked at would basically you could really analyze your sleep here. So there's some demo data. This is not based on mine because I don't have the premium membership. But if you benefit from this app, this is definitely one of the things to look at. Also, let's go to the profile page. I need to show you a couple of settings here. So on the top, it's going to show you the number of nights that you've used this app. So six nights so far and the average amount of sleep that I've been getting, including the time that it takes me to fall asleep. So I try to get about eight hours, so I've done a good job this week. The average quality, I always try to get as much as at least 80% here, but you could go to the Sleep Cycle website and actually it shows you different countries and what the quality average is in those countries. So you could kind of use that to gauge how well you're doing. Then under the settings, this is the wake up phase I was mentioning before. If you click it, by default is 30 minutes, which a typical sleep cycle, since it takes about an hour or two, 30 minutes gives you a big, nice window. So you're not woken up in the middle of deep sleep. So. I would leave it on 30 minutes as the app recommends, but you do have these other options if you wanted to change that. Let me go back here and same thing. If you have an Apple watch, for example, and it's connected to your phone, there are some options here as well. And if you wear that to sleep, it's going to be a little bit more accurate on some of your movements and your heart rate and sound. You could actually change that. So by default, the ringtone for the alarm is a warm breeze, but you could click this and you have a bunch of other options and some are premium, but a handful of them are here set for free. So you could go ahead and change this anytime you want. There's also using your own music. So on the very bottom, use my music. You could select that and give it access to the music on your phone. Again, this is one of the premium options of the app as well. And if you wanted to see more premium options this app has to offer, they're all listed here. So these are going to be missing on the free app, but the free version does give you the essentials of creating these journal entries for you and analyzing your sleep as long as you set this in the right place next to your bed. And one last thing I'll show you in the settings under the profile. If you go to the more option under settings, there's an option for alarm where it's set on motion detection. Click it. And right now it's using the microphone to pick up sound to analyze your sleep. And it does have another option, but that requires you to have the phone on the bed. So you could go to their website and see how the placement is. But by default, you could use the microphone option, which is recommended. And the picture here shows you exactly how it should be placed. But it's critical that you place your phone the right way so this app actually works correctly. And that's how you use the Sleep Cycle app to improve your sleep. I'm going to give this app a solid 5 out of 5. And it's going to be one of those apps that I'm going to continue to use. It honestly blew my mind the way it analyzed my entire night's sleep throughout the week. And then the way it woke me up at the best time for me in the lightest version of my sleep. Rather than the alarm clock that I used to use before that just woke me up at the exact same minute that I set it. But 
sometimes I was in a deep sleep and then I, I didn't feel my best when I woke up. So I recommend you try this out and see how it works for you. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. And I hope to catch you on the next video. Thanks so much for watching.